All right, it's a Comic-Con Masquerade Ball, and I'm here speaking with... Scott Rogers. All right, Scott, tell us a little bit about your costumes. We decided that we would do a... A, a, a small world for... Uh, Disneyland's a small world, um, and each one of us took it like a different country or a different area of the ride and decided to just do as best we could to get the costume just right and um, present it here this evening and uh, with a little bit of a twist. Wonderful. How long did it take you to get, uh, put all of this together? I think we was we started around uh, April mm -hmm. of, of this year and um, started putting it together and getting ideas together and how we would uh, present it on stage and how we would uh, just choreograph it and how it, all the look and everything. Well, it looks simply marvelous. Best of luck, best of luck. All right, it's a masquerade ball at Comic-Con and I'm here speaking with... Teresa. Teresa, tell us a little bit about your costume. Uh, well, I guess it started several years ago. Uh, accidentally made a ton of keyblades and many props and decided to use them all in one pre presentation. Grand, grand. I like the eyes. They're piercing. They're piercing. How long did it take you to put all of this together? Uh, I was about 20 minutes late, so somebody had to help me. Uh, I really don't know. Quite a while, actually. Wonderful, wonderful. And, and the cost, what do you imagine? Uh, the cost of many hours of my life that I can never get back. So, so mental and emotional, physical cost. Grand. Well, thank you for speaking with us. And we're at the Masquerade Ball at the Comic-Con, and I'm here speaking with... The Red Death. The Red Death. Red Death, you are dressed gloriously, I must say. It is quite fantastic. Tell us a little bit about how you put it together. Well, when you are death, you have many servants to assemble your fine garments. Ah, slave labor, always a good choice. Wonderful. And how many hours do you imagine it took uh, your, your, your minions to put this together? My minions being my own nimble fingers took me two months to construct my look. Well, it was well worth every minute, I must say. Thank you very much for speaking Versus with us. all mine, sir. It's a masquerade ball at the Comic-Con International and I'm here speaking with... Uh, Lenore. <laughs> Lenore, wonderful. Tell us a little bit about your costumes. Okay, uh, the costumes are based on a comic uh, by Roman Dirge. It's called Lenore the Little Dead, the Cute Little Dead Girl. Um, I'm Lenore the Cute Little Dead Girl or a zombie and this would be Ragamuffin. He is my vampire doll and this is Mr. Gosh. He's a, also a zombie who seems to be in love with Lenore and she tries to get away from him all the time but he keeps coming back. Wonderful, wonderful. How was it constructing all of these? It was very time consuming and then <laughs> last minute surprises. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. So lots of time, lots of time. How, how much time do you imagine? Uh, probably several months because um, it was very hard getting all three, uh, the other characters to come and let me measure them and build things and stuff. Wonderful. Well, you all look splendid. Thank you very much for speaking with us no and best of luck. Thanks. Masquerade Ball at Comic-Con International, and I'm here speaking with... Uh, underground Cosplay. Wonderful, wonderful. Tell us a little bit about your costumes. Um, we are from Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog, which is a web series that debuted last year around this time, and I think it's pretty popular at places like Comic-Con, so hopefully people enjoyed it. Wonderful, wonderful. How long do you imagine it took you to put uh, everything together? Oh dear, we've been, well, the hardest part was our dance practice. We've been practicing our dance for about three weeks now. As far as the costumes go, they were all pretty simple, but it was a lot of fun, so. Marvelous, marvelous. And what do you imagine the cost is? I, I see some, uh, some, some cardboard here and some, some uh, you know, laundry dispensers. Um, you might be surprised at how fast it adds up. <laughs> I bet I will be. Even with cardboard. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us thank and you. best of luck, everyone. Thank you. It's the Masquerade Ball at Comic Con International, and I'm here speaking with. Uh, my name is Kristen. Kristen, this looks like a marvelous outfit. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, well, the character is Mirka Fortuna from the Trinity Blood comic book, 
and um, it's all silk and hand sewn and rhinestoned and drove me crazy. Wonderful. <laughs> and how long do you imagine it took you to put everything together? It took me about a month and a half. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, and uh, how how much do you imagine the cost came out to? Um, probably about two hundred and fifty. 250. Well, very dedicated. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for you speaking are. with us and best of luck. Thank you. Once again, Masquerade Ball at Comic Con International. I'm here speaking with Queen Red Heart. Queen Red Heart. Marvelous outfits. Marvelous outfits. Tell us a little bit about them. About us or just in general? You, your, specifically your costumes. Yeah. Well, as I said, I am Queen Redheart. I'm the true Queen of Wonderland. This is Hatter Madigan. He is a bodyguard to my niece, Princess Alice Hart. I use the word princess loosely. This is Lady Clubs. She is one of the leaders of the suit houses. Clubs, obviously. And that over there is a chunk of meat, also known as a glass eye. I made her. I can dispose of her as I wish. Oh, wonderful. Uh, jolly good. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, how you came to, to choose this attire that you're, you're so adorned with. I imagined it. So imagined it. Well, wondrous, vast uh, powers uh, from Queen Redheart. Well, thank you very you much. You call me your imperial viciousness. Yes, your imperial viciousness. Thank you so much for uh, doing our humble interview. I guess I'm glad to be of service. Best of luck, my queen. Yes, yes. And we're out. We are still at the Masquerade Ball at Comic-Con, and I'm here speaking with... Zor Maxim. Zor Maxim, tell us a little bit about your costume. Well, it's inspired by the game Monster Apocalypse. It's uh, basically based upon all those kaiju films that we grew up with, Godzilla destroying buildings and Ultraman destroying buildings, and so this is one of the characters. And it's something I made out of a lot of um, foam and stretch fabric. Grant, how long do you imagine it took you to uh, put everything together? Well, it was a process that it took about nine months, though 